Greetings, good people. Owner and operator of well, of Sweetie Pies, Miss Robbie Montgomery has had enough. She is accusing a YouTuber of defaming her character and she is taking legal action, okay? Now, this is going to be very interesting considering all of the things that are going on with Miss Robbie's son, Tim Norman. If you are unaware, Tim Norman is currently in jail himself along with uh, other people who he conspired with to allegedly take out his nephew, okay? So you guys should be, you know, up to date and abreast of all things going on with Tim Norman, all right? His trial is actually coming up next month, early next month. And I don't know if this is a good idea for Miss Robbie to be suing a YouTuber for defamation, okay? So let's get into this article courtesy of the St. Louis Dispatch, all right? Robbie Montgomery, who starred with her family members in the reality TV series, Welcome to Sweetie Pie, said in a lawsuit filed recently that Phyllis Flint and Shanice Cote, I think that's how her name is pronounced, C-O-T-Y, defamed her by publishing a video in which they accuse her of being involved in criminal activity and promiscuity. Lord have mercy. Some of the comments reference Montgomery's connection to her son, James Timothy Norman, who is charged with orchestrating the fatal shooting of his 21-year-old nephew, at the time he was 21, Andre Montgomery Jr., who also appeared on the reality show Welcome to Sweetie Pies that aired on OWN, okay? Uh, charges say that Tim Norman hired a woman who was working in Memphis, Tennessee to help in the March 2016 killing near Fairground Park and then attempted to collect Andre Montgomery's life insurance benefits, okay? So Tim took out a couple of life insurance policies on his nephew, Andre Montgomery, who is the dearly departed, and he had some help doing so. Well, the feds caught up with all of them. Uh, they have changed their plea now to guilty, all except Tim Norman. And again, trial takes place next month for that situation. Now, most of the defamation allegations center on a video on Flint's YouTube channel. The name of the YouTube channel is Eat with Philly Phil talk show and more and the title of the video which has since been removed uh is sweetie pies tim norman's father best friend wife calls in and gives tea on the family that's the name of the uh the, that was the name of the video now um the video had close to like a quarter of a million views probably more before it was uh before it was removed and it features a recorded conversation between cody and flint in which the two women accuse robbie montgomery of crimes related to her grandson's death, including murder and being an accessory to murder. They also accuse her of having a quote unquote promiscuous and adulterous sex life during her time as one of the original Ikeettes with the Ike and Tina Turner review. Now this is according to the lawsuit, right? Now the video, the YouTube video uh, became uh, this YouTuber F uh, Flint, is her last name? Yeah. This was her most popular video and it resulted in an exponential increase in her viewership. This is what also the lawsuit states, right? The suit says Robbie Montgomery's reputation has been damaged by the allegations and that the comments were quote unquote wanton, quote unquote malicious, and quote unquote tended to expose plaintiff to hatred, contempt, and or ridicule. So, that's insane. That's crazy, crazy. I saw some of the video. Um, and I have to say this. You have to be responsible whenever you have a platform. You, you're responsible for the people that call in, for the people that give their feedback, for the people that give their opinions, who you interview, what the interviewee says on your platform. You know, you're supposed to remain in control as the interviewer. And I understand that we live in an age now where everybody wants to be the first one to drop an exclusive, they want to give the tea. I get all of that, but that does come with a price. So, um, Flint said in a video after the, uh, she received the lawsuit, she talked about it and she said, you know, her channel is for entertainment purposes only and all things are allegedly, she said she ain't done nothing wrong and she pleased the fifth, right? Um, Tim Norman's trial for his criminal case is set for September 6th. Now, as far as defamation is concerned, you know, we live in a litigious society, right? You can, you can sue anyone for anything. Will you win? 
is the question and miss robbie has to prove that this youtuber's video uh caused harm there was a loss you know it, it, it defamed her character prior to this information coming out about tim in my opinion once this situation with tim hit the news and hit the media i think as a result of that because this is tim norman's mother miss robbie's reputation was in jeopardy you know and it took a hit she's done interviews she sat down with uh black enterprise um not too long ago like a year or so ago i don't think it was this year maybe last year or the year before that and she basically said that you know she's sticking by her son i think it was last year said that she's sticking by her son you know uh he hasn't been proven guilty she said, you know, her and her son is like till death do them part. It's like a marriage. She loves her son. She did not say whether she was or was not financially supporting him. I think that that would be wise to keep that private, whether she is or isn't. Um, some people have been making accusations that his mother probably is supporting him. I'm not making those allegations. I'm just telling you what the people them saying, you know, and I feel like people can give their commentary and give their opinions. But, you know, again, you have to be very careful it's a fine line between like, you know, giving your opinion and then, and then defaming someone. Right. So, um, you know, this YouTuber did seek legal counsel from my understanding. The last I checked up on the, the channel over there, but again, Miss Robbie is going to have to prove that this content creator defamed her character and caused her some sort of, of loss. Um, and with trial for her son, coming up September 6th. I, I just, I don't know how all of this is gonna, I don't know. I just, I just personally, I would have advised her to wait if I was going to give her any sort of advice. Uh, I would advise her to wait if she is going to seek, you know, legal ramifications. But then again, it's like, it's all one big mess. This trial with her son is one big mess. And it seems like the feds have enough evidence to convict him. And now Terika Ellis, uh, what was that other young boy? The one who actually, you know, did the deed. I forgot his name. Um, he changed his guilty plea. Yael Yagnum, who was the one who assisted Tim with getting the insurance policies and tried to assist him with collecting after Andre uh, passed away. They all changed their, their plea to, to guilty. Uh, Tim is the only one who's stating that he is not guilty. So... I don't know how this trial is going to play out. We will just have to wait and see. But as far as, you know, uh, Miss Robbie taking legal action against this these YouTubers, eh, not that she can't, not that she shouldn't, but timing is important. Is this the right time? What do you guys think? Do you think that she has every right to go after these YouTubers? I mean, there's media outlets that I have read articles from, not on here, but just, you know, to myself, that have kind of said certain things I don't know. Is she going to go after all of these media outlets or is it just going to be the YouTubers, the, the quote unquote small guys? So I don't know. I, these things tend to be bizarre um, sometimes when you're talking about defamation lawsuits and things like that. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that Miss Robbie is, I don't want to say well within her right, but do you think that it's a good idea for her to um, take legal action at this time so close to the time when her son's trial is going to going to begin um are you familiar with this uh this content creator did you happen to see that video drop down in the comments and share your thoughts i'm curious to see how this is going to work out and i'm curious to see how you know what the results of this is going to be all right so that's all i got and got no more i'm signing off i love you for watching as always until next time peace